This stuff, stuff doesn't work on axes of right and wrong, Emily. Bitch, where'd you get that and what did you just do? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. We're not glossing over that. What did you just do? <laughs> wait, wait, hang on. What the f***? What witch doctor magic did you just do? <laughs> Don't act like everything's chill. You just, you just stole the sun. You just stole the moon and put it in a little glass pyramid. No. You can't just, you can't just do that, all right, y'all? If you do some shit like that, we have to talk about it. You cannot just do shit like that and then just move on. It's wild. What's up, y'all? My name is Polar Bear. This is my channel, Polar Bear Problems, and welcome back to Homebody. Homebody, homebody. I don't know. Uh, we did a lot last episode. We got the code for the lightning rod figured out so we can charge up the accumulator one time. We unlocked the underground hedge mage and found the generator so we can charge it two times. Now we got to figure out how to get the uh, electricity turned off so that we can uh, get through the water and charge it three times. So we're going to just be solving more puzzles. I mean, that's what this whole game is, is solving fucking puzzles. So that's what we're going to do. Make sure you like or dislike the video, comment down below and subscribe for more, baby. Let's get right into it. Well, Emily, looks like it's your lucky day. Huh? We're here. The roadhouse burned down? Guess so. Welcome back to town, Emily. <laughs> what the fuck? I wasn't expecting felony arson on this trip and I refused to become an accessory after the fact. Don't worry, I left a note saying you did it. <laughs> what happened here? According to my phone, it burned down almost a year ago. This site said it was open. Oh, it's open, all right. I'm gonna go climb on the hot dog. Me too! Do not get on the hot dog. Guys, I'm serious. Don't be idiots. Can't believe I dragged us all the way out here for this. Pete? Oh no. Pete, you knew? Why didn't you tell us? God, somebody is gonna get hurt climbing that hot dog. I just know it. Come on, Francine, they're adults. What's the worst that could happen? Emily, you should know that by now. Wait. Why does the hot dog have bastard written on it? I don't know. I'm a bastard. You're not a bastard, Gary. Get off the fucking hot dog, you weirdo. Not like anybody ever listens to me. Why should they start now? I think you just gotta let go of what you can't control, Francine. I think you liked me better when I was beneath you. What? Is he gonna die? Is he gonna fall off and die? Did you hear all that, Megan? What did I mess up there? Well, Francine loves a plan. I know you and I don't care, but she does. I know, I just don't want her to be stressed out about it. I get that, but... Still, maybe not the first thing I would have said to my best friend who I haven't seen in a year. Hell, I guess I really whiffed that one. Nah, things are just changing around here faster than we can keep up with. You know about the time loop? Nest and the thing with the knife? Yeah. <laughs> it's not like it's a bad thing, necessarily. First time we did this, we didn't need to plan shit. It just happened. The only reason we ended up here was because we thought the giant hot dog was some kind of tourist trap. <laughs> Which it was. Decades before it became a gnarly karaoke joint. And when they kicked us out at 2 a.m., us drunk idiots saw stars streaking across the sky. Amazing. Hmm. It was pretty magical. Bringing up the meteor shower a lot. Yeah, even Cliff was be just like really earnest and positive. For karaoke, he sang that song Sandy, and he did a big swaggering Springsteen impression. Then, like, 20 minutes later, when it's his turn again, he gets up and does Sandy again, only this time without the impression. How fucking obnoxious. Isn't that song, like, eight minutes long? Sure, but there was something kind of tragically sweet about it. 
He seemed so earnest the second time. There were tears in his eyes. Even if it was bullshit that he saw himself in the song, it still kind of humanized him for me. Huh. I think I went and hid in the bathroom until it was over because I'm a little bitch. Yikes. A bar bathroom? Was that trade worth it? Roadhouse bathroom was particularly nasty, too. I wonder if it's better as a burned out husk. I wonder if I'm better as a burned out husk. Now, now. Everyone's happy you're here, you weirdo. Pretty touching that you come all the way out here just to see us. Actually, I'm in town for a funeral. My grandma died. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, really, it's it's okay. I don't really feel anything about it. Well, except that I'm a monster for not feeling anything about it. Oh, that's deep. In there. Someone guilting themselves for a feeling has not once ever in human history gotten rid of the feeling. It's a good point. Yeah, so I guess I'm stuck with it. I'm just relieved she's not suffering anymore. Watching her regress to the point that she thought all of us were dead people coming to get her was pretty devastating for my mom. That can happen? Yeah, pretty par for the course with Alzheimer's. Going back to an earlier time in their brains, singing songs from their childhood. Interesting. It's also a delusion you can have where you think everyone in your life has been replaced with imposters. Crap grass disorder or something. Huh. Well, that's horrible. <laughs> yep, oh. Hello, Parker. Say, so, do you have any use for some melted plastic cutlery? It's very specific. Check it out. It's like a rat king of forks and the little plastic swords they stick cherries with. What a find! I gotta get a picture. Tori's gonna love this. What are you doing here? Where's Pete? Ah, good question. Never met your friend Pete. I've never, and I've met everyone here. Seen him walking around. Made eye contact with him. But there's nothing there. I don't think he's anyone. What? If Pete's not Pete, then who the fuck are you? Also a good question. Har har, you do realize this is a pretty stressful situation for me, right? I'm sorry. I feel a strange energy here myself. There's little I can do to help you now. Maybe but small comfort, but if you have questions, I'll do my best to shine a light in the dark. Jesus fucking Christ, can you talk normal? I'll try. What is the accumulator supposed to do? Oh, okay. It's supposed to channel life energy to assist in the reassembly of matter. It's meant to improve your vitality and lifespan. In reality, it's a cheap wooden box and general fire hazard I used to do drugs in. <laughs> but here, it's not the box that I built. It's actually powerful. Oh. And it has nothing to do with me. Weird. What's the creature with the knife? Homunculus. I don't know. I used to feel oddly proud of it. I thought I created it. That it was the only thing I've ever created. Now I'm afraid that might not even be true. I've got nothing to show for all this. My life. Just a house that's falling apart with dead people inside. You would... Want that? As a legacy? It's more than nothing. At least it would be proof that I was here. Damn, that's deep too. I feel that. <laughs> but I know that isn't true. Even if it was, what's the point? All a big mistake. Big coincidence. Small little man. Stupid. Uh-huh. Why can't I talk to the others? I mean, I can talk to them about pizza and video games and shit. <laughs> Just not the time loop we're trapped in or the slasher movie villain that keeps killing us. I have no idea. <laughs> when I approached you at the gas station, I found myself unable to speak in anything but poetry. I thought that was just how you always talk. Then sometime later, I found myself able to express myself fully. Almost as if we had gained some kind of understanding. Or maybe I just lost all respect for you. Interesting. Okay, weird. I'm... It's upending all the rules that I thought this fucking accumulator and this time loop followed, honestly. And it's really, it's, it's fucking with me. What happened with you and Clara? So, what happened with you and Clara? Clara? I suppose you've had so quite some time to explore. Sorry, not much else to do to, besides die. Well, I hope you enjoyed sifting through the detritus a foolish young man left behind as he stumbled backwards through life. Wow. You are going through it, bud. Oh my gosh. I know I'm... I didn't... I never really... I wasted a lot of time. 
And now the time wastes me. Wow. Yeah, you do kind of seem like a hack. Why, why am I so mean to this guy? One last thing. Do you really smoke weed with Hunter S. Thompson? He was in the vicinity. I see. <laughs> um... Want one? You know I quit, Cliff. What? When? I thought you were here to burn one with me like we used to. Can't just come over here to enjoy your company? No! <laughs> so the owner probably burned it down, right? For the insurance money. How good of a policy do you think they had on this hole in the wall in the middle of nowhere? Maybe it was arson from a competing restaurant? He was like stretch called Roadhouse or Restaurant. It's more like, well, we'll make you a burger if you really want one. <gasps> now that you mention it, why didn't they have a hamburger outside? Why just a hot dog? Actually, I used to have one. Got rid of the hamburger in 63. Oh. Guys, is Megan seeing someone? Oh, Tori? Yeah. Wow. Never thought I would see the day. Been engaged for like two years. Holy shit. What? I'm a shitty friend. <laughs> hey, gang. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> Just how Emily doesn't know shit about her friends. Shut the fuck up, Cliff, you asshole. <laughs> hey, Cliff. Emily showed me this awesome melted cut cutlery rack king. Want to see it? Oh, yeah. That'll go great with my melted red plastic Italian restaurant cup. <laughs> Melted it by trying to put a cigarette out in it. Been there. Yep. Set fire to some things with a fucking cigarette. See you later, M. Later, Gare Bear. Think we could get sick from hanging around here? Like the burned rubble is putting stuff in our body that will kill us someday when we're not expecting it? Well, I spend every day expecting to drop dead of a mysterious and preventable illness. It'd be pretty funny if I contracted it from a fiberglass hot dog. Yeah, if I'm gonna die, at least it needs to be funny. I mean, my life's a joke anyways. Jesus. It needs a good punchline to make it all worth it. Gary, you're sounding a little too much like me. Are you alright? Sure. It's fine. My head kind of hurts behind my eyes. I'm gonna go look at that pile of menus and figure out what I would have ordered. So everyone's just super depressed. I'm guessing. I think that's the synopsis of this game. At least nobody took a tumble from the hot dog, huh? Hey, Francine. Are you mad at me? I'm desperate to express even one thought of my own. I'm... really sorry. Stop. I'm not doing this again. You're not sorry, you're scared of me. It can be both. I feel like you're waiting for a chance to tell me I'm wrong and you're waiting for me to escalate. To catch me in some mistake so you can tell me so. But Francine, I'm dying to fall on that sword. I'm dying for you to believe me when I tell you I know how wrong I am. This stuff, stuff doesn't work on axes of right and wrong, Emily. Bitch, where'd you get that and what did you just do? Whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. We're not glossing over that. What did you just do? <laughs> Wait, wait, hang on. What the fuck? What witch doctor magic did you just do? No. Don't act like everything's chill. You just you just stole the sun. You just stole the moon and put it in a little glass pyramid. No. You can't just you can't just do that. All right, y'all. If you do some shit like that, we have to talk about it. You cannot just do shit like that and then just move on. It's wild. Absolutely insane. I know you're sorry. You tell everyone that every chance you get, you need to do something. It's so painful seeing you all like this. What do you want from me? Who gives a shit what I want from you? People aren't a fucking puzzle you can solve, Emily. I want to figure this out. I want to believe it's possible. You're scary when you cuss. Jiminy, gosh, oh hey Emily, glad you could make it, your room's down the hall, is that better? Is that more like the weird retrograde 2D fantasy of me you're looking for? The fuck? I've been caretaking and planning and organizing and protecting and trying to stop us from tearing ourselves apart. Going through the motions for as long as I can remember. Now I am goddamn sick of it and I know you're hurting but there's too much inertia for me to stop so instead I'm here yelling at you about it. I can tell I'm closer to getting through to you than anyone else. 
I know how this ends. I've seen it happen over and over and over, and I'm done trying to change it, and I refuse to take your sorries about it. And I know exactly how goddamn petty I'm being, and I don't care because I've had an infinite number of nights to stew on this. So, sh does she know? What the fuck? Excuse me? There's a thumbnail right there. <laughs> excuse me? Oh, excuse me? Oh, Francine's there too. What the fuck just happened? Oh, the sun's out of the sky. Oh, I'm dead over there too now. What the fuck? Yo! What a way to start this episode, man. What the fuck? Okay. So we got the generator. Got the lightning rod. I need to figure out the cellar pump. What's this? Has this been here the whole time? Look, I illustrated Pumberton Possum learns a lot. Pile of cliff stuff. What's this doing here? Okay, so that changed. The binder full of rules. Not well. Things that aren't ranged. Electrical devices, just glass. I guess glass is allowed, but we're encouraged to keep in mind the relative density of the surface directly beneath it. Okay, let's talk to Cliff, because... I found a copper of Pumberton Possum on top of your stuff. What's that doing there? It's mine. Whose trash can did you pull that out of? I paid money for it, and I also got one for my mom. She fucking loves it. It's incredibly sweet. I am struggling to integrate it emotionally. <laughs> While you're working on that, do you think you could sign a copy for me? Uh, yeah, of course. Hey, Cliff. It's your step, Emily. I'm starting to think the worksmanship on this house is pretty dodgy. Be sure your feet don't, feet don't break right through the floorboards. What makes you say that? One of the covers and a damn thing cracked right in half. This whole place is like the cheapest quality wood Disneyland. Open the closet too fast while doing a bit and the door almost disintegrated in his hands. Yeah, I've noticed that too. It's either poor worksmanship or termites. Either way, I know we're footing the bill on the rental insurance, cheap bastards. Really big pump in the house. Do you know how that works? Only at serious industrial jobs. Okay. Like the one I used to work with Martin. Cliff. You know, before the accident. Anyway. Pumps like that don't have a set amount of fluid they draw from a tank. They take all the fluid they can get. In that case, if you want to draw less fluid into the larger pump, you'd have to draw fluid away from the tank from another pump somewhere else. Tell me about the big pump. Okay, okay, it's just the same thing. Okay. See ya. Okay, because so, I need to- the pump puzzle, I think, is the last key to- to getting this shit Gucci. What do this place kind of give you? The heebie-jeebies? Huh? Like, the color? I mean, the wood itself feels like hollow, brittle, a little soft, maybe. Oh yeah, Cliff said literally 10 seconds ago that it might be termites. I said that to me too, but like, damn, it feels worse than that. If I stand for too long, I feel like I'm starting to sink, in the f sink into the floor like it's soft and damp. Ugh. Tell me about it. How's the trip been treating you? It's going okay, we've been having fun, it's good to see everybody. Seems to have chilled out over the last couple years, even Cliff. But he's been a little testy as usual. <sighs> Nature is cool and everything, but I think we're all getting tired. I would have been content to sit here and game the whole time. Been enjoying the house? I guess I have for the most part. Reminds me of being a kid just like looking around at the world and everything being all big and foreboding. Shower is awful though, prepare yourself. Here, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, but are you okay? I'm much better now, I think. It's being especially sad back at the roadhouse. I was for sure. I still feel a bit off, but I sat down with Megan and she dropped some wisdom on me. She's good at that. What did she say? 
Something about how sometimes it's better to embrace the bad stuff rather than try to shove it down. Oh my god, excuse me. And that there can't be matter without antimatter or light without dark. She was way more elegant with the space stuff. I can't do it justice. Wow. And I talked to Cliff and he tricked me into drinking orange juice to wash down a slice of pizza. Turn me up, I think. Tastes exactly like vomit. Actually, tricked isn't right. He told me beforehand and I did it anyways. You should try it. It's awful. I think I'm okay. Okay. So, um, okay, is this the pyramid Francine threw? What is it doing here? Is that blood? Hope Francine is okay. the fuck? Where is Francine? This is all the same. Oh, man. Where is Francine? What the fuck? Okay, um... So... Interesting. Let's see if I can... Go down here, maybe. Let's go ahead and do this. Because I need to... The pump puzzle is what's fucking with me. You know what I mean? And I don't know how to... ...solve it. So there's generator. Ah, shit. I've checked so many places, I'm not sure... That's the last, like, key to this shit, is the pump puzzle. I haven't found where to use this combination yet. Where does that look like it is? I don't think I've used that combination yet. Fuck was that noise? Do y'all remember me using that combination on something? I sure as shit don't. Oh fuck! This was right here the whole time? Yo, what? This is what I packed? I know I was in a hurry, but this is two pairs of pants and no underwear. the fuck? This is so embarrassing. That's all it was? God damn it. Okay. Hmm. Let's go to the attic. She's gotta be there. That's wrong. That's right. That's right. Cross, left, right. Right, okay. Then right, right, cross. Okay, then this over here. There we go. Okay. So, what the fuck? Oh! Homunculus already? But why? Uh, 
It's... Wait, but really, why? It's only 8.50. Fuck. I can't, I can't get out of the way. Wait, but why? It's only, it's not even nine yet. Damn. That thing is coming out early, bro. Oh my God. Pete Parker, who is it, Pete? <laughs> What's up, Pistol Pete? Hey, Emily. I don't understand you. If you know all this, why won't you tell me exactly what I need to know? Why don't you just help me out of this mess? I don't know anything you don't know. Think of me like a college professor who's staying one step ahead of their class. I'm making this all up as I go along. I don't know shit. And neither do I. Oh, okay. Bye. Okay, so... Dude, the pump puzzle is, is really fucking me up. I... I... I feel like I'm missing a clue. Seen Francine? She's up in the study. I've barely seen her all week, and she's just been sure they're shuffling through those books like her life depends on it. I guess that's it. She seems pretty antisocial, huh? Yeah, I wonder what her deal is. Honestly, she seemed kind of upset with you. Okay, fuck, man. That big pump is the last, the very last thing I need. And so I'm guessing... Let's go check the study one more time. Still just the pyramid. Okay. There's a book missing. I'm just trying to walk around because I had missed that suitcase right at the front door. Oh, this is rough, dude. Like, what the fuck is going on? Let's see if I can... No, just, it's a... Spotlight, yeah. Kids logging on online, post-it note. 12, okay, yeah, that's for the... Electronic lock. Okay. Passcode, uh, combination of cellar cage, do not let them enter the attic. <sighs> Fuck, man, I, I'm just, I'm missing one thing, you know what I mean? And it's frustrating. <sighs> hmm. Just missing one. You know what? Let's uh, go back in this cage again. Maybe there's something... Here, I'll do this real quick. And then let's go in this cage again. Okay, what's the solution to this? One, three, three, two. Okay. I have no idea how I did that. Industrial, okay, generators. Radon. Must be okay. But like, god dang, I I'm just missing something. 
I'm just missing like one fucking thing, you know? What is this? It's gotta be that, right? Okay. I don't know what to get the pump to. There's no way that worked. There's no way I just- oh, dude. What? I swear on my life, I did not look it up. I didn't look it up. I swear to God, I have no idea how I just guessed that. Bro, what? That was so lucky. I, I like you. You know me. I'll, I'll tell you if I looked it up. Parker, to retrieve the instructions for the industrial pump, first rewind, then print. All you ever use the mainframe for? So I don't know why it's so hard to remember. In case you forget, the calibration guide for the mainframe is in the study. I can figure out this is a... Okay. Okay, what? Bro. I still am just in shock that I just randomly guessed it. That's so stupid. Oh, what the fuck is all this? How did I guess it? That's wild. Okay, I just did that by accident, too. Perfect. Calibration guide for the mainframe is in the study. Uh, 10, 12, 9, 11. Bro, how did I guess that? I, I seriously have no idea. That's so funny. What is all that? Dude, how did I guess that? I'm still just- I'm blown away that I just fucking forced that by accident. Bro, that's so funny. Did you see that little boy back there? Piece of shit. Oh, this is the mall that I had a vision of myself drowning in, isn't it? Look at the silly chicken. Look at that silly, silly chicken. That's a unit of power. Freaky being here in this mall again. Freaky that this mall exists under this small rural house in Pennsylvania. Where'd I go? Oh, okay. So I... Just turned that on. So it's in the study. So... What 
What the fuck? So there's the mall generator. Okay. <sighs> Let's go up to the study. It's been about 34 minutes. Let's go up to the study, see if I get killed on the way. So I figured out the pump just by accident. So honestly, what I could do is run, turn the power, hit the pump. No, this is not it. Okay. This is the study, right? Manuscript. Is this... Okay, that's the pyramid. The fuck was that? Okay, let's go in here. Manuscript. What is this? Okay. I don't know. Where the fuck to... Put the, um... Is this not the study? It's ten, twelve, nine, something. Bruh, I'm, let me tell you what, I am very, very confused. Let's get killed, and we'll pick this up next time on Homebody. Uh, I just don't get it. Where's the homunculus? Inspect the body. It's Gary, he's dead, yeah. It's Megan, she's dead, yeah. It's Cliff, he's dead. Pretty self-explanatory. Where is this bitch? Where is this homunculi? Where is this hunky homunk? Unless this is the study. I don't think it is, but... This is wild, dude. No, that's the utility bill, okay. There's nothing in here. Schedule, events. Check machine. I think... Yeah, let's pick this up next time on uh, Homebody. I love y'all so much. Thank you for joining me. Where is this bitch? I'm trying to die. Uh, we'll pick this up next time. I think we might turn the accumulator on next time. Why not, you know? Um, but yeah. I love y'all so much. Bye-bye.